Hello, Ray. I hope everything is well in this crazy time, as you note. Um, this will be some video feedback for 5.2, which is the uh, web banner ad. And it'll be the last of the video feedback. Um, I bid you strength, and if you need anything in the next two weeks, uh, just don't hesitate to uh, reach me either through email or through my through text. Uh, Ray, your submission is complete, too. And uh, including a PDF of the magazine ad, so we can compare that, um, and uh, the Photoshop file for the web banner, as well as the it looks like the uh, screenshots on how you developed it, your technical process as well as your creative process. So um, kudos to you for documenting your process. You know, oftentimes it's overlooked, especially you know when we get in a hurry. But I think you'll appreciate this week, week seven, that you have uh, the PDS and you've got a running narrative. This can become the basis for your final reflection. And it shows me exactly how you did various things. I like that you incorporated the crystal. Um, did you see um, the student example I posted, I think about two weeks ago, where the crystal sort of builds up in the foreground? I like these where you have uh, combined a sunset with the uh, amethyst crystal. It almost seems in a way that the light's shining through. You could probably capitalize on that in some way. But anyway, it's a good um, <clears throat> uh, narrative of your technical process and your hurdles that you overcame. So I've opened up your uh, file in Photoshop, and right off the bat I see that you've done things correctly. Here's the timeline with the three frames uh, animation. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. And then also I see that you've organized things on layers exactly as uh, required by the assignment. And I'm sure this made it a lot easier uh, to um, organize it. This looks a little squashed uh, to me. The, the logo looks a little vertically compressed. And also, too, uh, be careful. Um, these banners are going to need a little bit of margin or what they call in web speak cell padding. Uh, it's the same thing as margin and print. And I wouldn't clip the descenders of the letter forms uh, off. So you could probably you know make this, don't squash it, move it up so that it doesn't get uh, cropped at the bottom. And let's back it up and see how it works. You know, really straightforward, um, and I appreciate that. Now, it's generally assumed that by clicking on the web banner, you'll go to a website, right? So in a way, contact information isn't necessary. Um, but I'll let you, let you make that determination. You know, perhaps uh, think about your other colleagues' ads. Many of them have at least the URL for the web. Uh, whatever the visually is the cleanest way of doing it, and if you decide to omit it, at least be prepared to defend that omission. Uh, Ray, I think I'll conclude this here. And uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help or clarification.